Lithium is one of the most coveted materials in the world right now. The size of the lithium industry now actually warrants purchase by the development of lithium. Chile's plans to nationalize the lithium industry. Lithium is a key element for the production of batteries that power electric vehicles, which are seen as a more environmentally friendly alternative to fossil fuel vehicles. However, the extraction of lithium from the salt flats in South America, where most of the world's reserves are located, has a dark side that threatens the local ecosystems and communities. These issues need to be resolved quickly, or we could see the end of the electric vehicle race sooner than we think. Join us as we discuss the South America lithium fields and how they reveal the dark side of our electric future. Lithium is a key element for the transition to a low-carbon economy. This essential element from the periodic table plays a central role in powering electric vehicles and storing renewable energy from sources like wind and solar power. Lithium is a key player in the ongoing economic and infrastructural changes we're witnessing today. Our reliance on lithium today is similar to our dependence on coal and oil, which reshaped society in the past. However, unlike these fossil fuels, lithium does not emit greenhouse gases when used. But this does not mean that lithium is free of environmental impacts. The extraction and processing of lithium require a lot of water, energy, and chemicals, which can harm the ecosystems and communities where they take place. This loss of large amounts of water, especially in arid regions like Chile, Argentina, and Australia, can reduce the availability and quality of water for local people and wildlife. Moreover, the water used in lithium mining can become polluted with toxic substances such as arsenic, boron, and lithium itself. Lithium mining and refining also generate carbon dioxide emissions, contributing to global warming. According to a study by the University of Technology, Sydney, producing one ton of lithium carbonate can emit between 15 and 28 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. Depending on the source and method of extraction, lithium mining can also affect the health of workers and nearby residents. Exposure to dust, noise, vibration, and chemicals can cause respiratory, skin, eye, and nervous system problems. Some studies have also linked lithium exposure to thyroid disorders, kidney damage, and birth defects. In addition to its environmental impact, lithium mining can have social implications. In some cases, mining can displace local communities or harm their health and well-being. Many of the world's lithium reserves are in developing countries where labor standards and environmental regulations are often weak. This can lead to human rights violations, including forced labor, child labor, and environmental destruction. Most of the world's lithium comes from a region in South America called the Lithium Triangle. This is an area where the borders of Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia meet and where there are large salt flats that contain high concentrations of lithium. An aerial photographer from Germany, Tom Hagen, has captured some amazing images of the lithium fields in the Lithium Triangle. He uses his camera to show how humans affect the environment and use natural resources. His photos of the lithium fields look like colorful paintings, but they also reveal the dark side of our growing demand for lithium. The photos show different ponds or pools of water that are used to extract lithium from the salt flats. The water is pumped from underground sources or nearby lakes and mixed with chemicals to dissolve the lithium. Then the water is evaporated by the sun, leaving behind a solid residue of lithium carbonate. This is the raw material that is used to make lithium batteries. The ponds have different colors depending on the amount of lithium and other minerals in them. Some are white, some are blue, some are green, and some are yellow. They look very beautiful from above, but they also have a lot of negative impacts on the environment and the people who live nearby. In 2015, an article in The New Scientist characterized these landscapes as surreal landscapes where batteries are born. However, a report by Friends of the Earth, FOE, underlines the adverse effects of lithium extraction. It underscores how this process inevitably harms the soil and leads to air pollution. As demand for lithium surges, the consequences of mining are increasingly impacting the communities where this extraction occurs, imperiling their access to water resources. So what should we do then? To start with, we should invest in recycling. 
and increasing the lifetime of lithium batteries would reduce the need to mine huge quantities of the precious material. This effort should be accompanied by the launching of lithium mining operations with strict environmental laws and regulations and investing in advanced mining methods capable of extracting lithium from seawater. Seawater contains about 0.2 parts per million of lithium, which is the equivalent to 230 billion tons of lithium carbonate. However, the current technology for extracting lithium from seawater is still inefficient and costly. We should also invest in alternative solutions to lithium batteries that are more sustainable and affordable. One of the potential candidates is aqueous zinc ion batteries, which use zinc as the main electrode material instead of lithium. Zinc is abundant, cheap, and safe to handle. It also has a high theoretical capacity of 820 milliamp hours per gram, which is comparable to that of lithium, which has 760 milliamp hours per gram. Aqueous zinc ion batteries can also operate in water-based electrolytes, which are environmentally friendly and non-flammable. China is already looking into alternative solutions, and the most promising one is a new aqueous zinc ion battery developed by a research team at the Hefei Institutes of Physical Science, HFIPS, of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, led by Professor Chao Bangshuan. The team has successfully created a high-performance aqueous zinc ion battery with an ultra-long cycle lifespan in a weak magnetic field. The battery can deliver a high specific capacity of 308 milliamp hours per gram at 0.2 amps per gram and retain 80% of its initial capacity after 10,000 cycles. The weak magnetic field can enhance the electrochemical reaction kinetics and suppress the dendrite growth on the zinc electrode. The battery also has excellent rate capability and flexibility. The team's breakthrough could pave the way for the development of low-cost, high-performance, and eco-friendly energy storage devices for various applications. Zinc is more abundant, widely used, and readily recyclable than lithium. Zinc is also less toxic and less flammable than lithium, making it safer to handle and dispose of. Recycling zinc-based batteries is relatively simple and cost-effective as zinc can be easily recovered from battery waste and reused for various purposes. Recycling zinc-based batteries can reduce the demand for new zinc production, which can save energy and resources and lower greenhouse gas emissions. Recycling zinc-based batteries can also prevent the leakage of harmful substances from the battery waste into the environment. Lithium-based batteries, on the other hand, pose more significant challenges for recycling. Lithium-based batteries have complex chemistry and specialized recycling processes, making them more difficult and expensive to recycle. Lithium-based batteries also contain other metals such as cobalt, nickel, and manganese, which are scarce and have high environmental and social impacts. China is currently leading the way in developing new battery technology, and the U.S. has a lot of catching up to do. Even in terms of lithium mining, China has the largest lithium reserves in the world, and it is also the largest producer and consumer of lithium. China has invested heavily in lithium mining projects in other countries, such as Australia, Chile, and Argentina. China also has a more streamlined and efficient process for opening new lithium mines within its own territory. In contrast, the U.S. has a much smaller share of the global lithium market, and it faces many challenges in expanding its lithium mining capacity. The U.S. has only one active lithium mine located in Nevada. The U.S. also has strict environmental regulations and lengthy permitting procedures that make it difficult to open new lithium mines. The U.S. needs to pick up the pace if they don't want to rely on China to help them mine. The U.S. needs to secure its own sources of lithium and develop its own battery technology to compete with China in the global market. To wrap up, it is crucial that the process of mining lithium is done thoughtfully and with deep regard for the environment and the well-being of local communities. It is important that we work towards cultivating mining methods that are sustainable and accountable and actively address the worries of the communities impacted. By adopting these measures, we can strive to optimize the advantages of lithium mining while mitigating its adverse effects. Most importantly, 
we need to explore and promote alternative battery technologies that are ecologically friendly. Among these options, the development and widespread production of zinc-based batteries hold promise in contributing to our efforts to safeguard the environment. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.